It's my feel good birthday show. Welcome back. Ah, your timing is perfect. South Africa's biggest rock band, undoubtedly. Certainly in my lifespan, Springbok nude girls have released their long-awaited brand new album, Party Apocalypse, and they'll be having an official launch at the on the 2nd of October at the Daisy Jones Bar at OMG. It's available on streaming platforms, and we are incredibly excited about it. To tell us a little bit more about the album, as well as give us a little taste firsthand, are some of the band members Arno Gostens and Theo Kraus. Thank you, gentlemen for joining us. Thank you for having us. Ah, we love you, man. Good, mo we, um, good morning. No, good I morning. love you, bro. I'm man crush on you, eh? You know hey. that, eh? You do know <laughs> that, though. Uh, you've proven your professionalism. You arrived here at about quarter to four this morning. Okay, yeah, as, yeah. As the pros have to, so thank you so much for that. I've got to ask you this. I'm going to turn the tables because you've been doing this so successfully for so long. I know what you mean to me. Like, you, you are the first, and all due respect to the pioneers that came before you, but you, you were the birth of rock and roll for me. I remember traveling to go and meet my sister at Stelly's, to go and watch you guys in the, in the early days, and it was just something that I had never experienced before, and you were part of that, that revolution. Yeah. What does the new girls mean to you? Why do you keep going back? For more. Oh, the thing is, the nude girls for me is a whole lifetime. It's a, it's a, it's an organism, and a, a beautiful piece of my life that I cannot give up on. Kind of thing. The music and the band members, and but uh, I think mostly there's a magic. Every band's got a magic if they've got a magic. And um, over the years, I've realised together we've got a certain magic, and um, therefore. I, uh, we just miss doing the music and we keep going back and writing new stuff every now and then. What is that process like? You've you got to find yourself a man that looks at you the way that Anu looks at you. That's, <laughs> that's very special. <laughs> um, what is it about this, this creative union? Even watching you guys jam a little bit when you first came into studio and you still look like a 12-year-old kid who's like, oh, I love that, I love that. Put that in. You know, th there seems to be this love and excitement to create together. What is that all about, man? I don't know. I think it's... a. a, a I think the the energy happens if there's an energy between band members or between two people. It it it's, it happens automatically, and so then then after that it's just nurturing whatever there is. You know, in the beginning, you might not even want to nurture it because you don't know what to do with it. You know, <laughs> just <laughs> let know? it loose. Yeah, let it loose on and stage. Then, but later yeah. on. You, you discover how to nurture a creative relationship and, and how, how, what works best for everybody and how it complements. And sometimes, sometimes the compliment, um, to complement the relationship becomes easier with time, you know. Does that mean creating this album was the easiest or was it the most challenging? It was kind of easy but kind of ch very challenging actually. Yeah. Because <laughs> We, um, like, Adrian Brandt lives in the, in the USA, uh, Arne Blumer lives in the UK. I think we were only together for a month, we had some shows, so we thought, yeah. okay, let's use this to make an album. Yeah. But still, that is not a, you need about three months to really write a bunch of good songs. Yeah. And then thing is, but, you know, we kind of knew it was going to happen, so we planned um, in advance and wrote a whole bunch of stuff, so it wasn't... It wasn't such a smash, but it was still a bit frantic. It was like a party apocalypse. <laughs> Hence, hence the name. Yeah. There is an expectation when you guys come together and when you perform. I think seeing you perform is just absolute magic. So I'm so glad we're moving into the phase that we are. And I hope that you are able to, to play this new album and tour this album and play together and go overseas and do festivals. And I hope that's the future that's in store for you guys because hopefully that's where we are right now. But that, that coming together, obviously, now you've got fans that want... What's the reception been like? How are you feeling about the, the new work? Is it it's new? Amazing. Is it the same as the old? Man, no. we didn't expect this, huh? Yeah, I mean, when you, every time we, you put something out, you wonder, like, oh, you know, um, I mean, we're excited. But every album we excited. Even now, still, are you, you know, every album, Of course. <laughs> every album we go, like, this is going to be the, this album, you know? And, and um, but what was amazing was the reception just from fellow peers as well. You know, people, people that, that, that's been with us in the industry. Yeah. That have, like, uh, I, think, I, I think the reception for us is, 
is it, it has been overwhelming and much better than what we thought it will ever be. Uh, yeah, and after so many years, it's very humbling. It's like because you don't expect, you know, we do it now just because we really love making music and it's we still we, we can do it. But to have uh, this uh, response, which is, that's lovely. It's lovely. No, you guys warrant yeah. it, man, because you, you have. You've, you've paved the way. And I <laughs> am so appreciative of the fact that you're here to perform new music. Hopefully Woo! a little bit of old music. Pressure's on. It is on, man. <laughs> uh, the fans <laughs> demand it, but it, it really is. It's so good that you guys are still here and influencing South yeah. African music Thank in the you, way man. that you are. And I think the rest of the world is looking. Um, no expectations, but really, really pleased that both of you got up at quarter to two this morning to, yes. to get here so early. Mow the lawn. <laughs> to, to be here for you, because they are here to perform <laughs> just for you. So whatever you are doing this morning, stop it and just soak it up. He's wearing long johns under these. He got his, his pajamas underneath his pants because that's how prepared he was to come and perform for you. It's a new morning. look, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and it's going to go international. The Springbok Nude Girls are still here producing the best music the country can offer and they're going to be performing for you in just a moment.